Welcome back to Element Today in May. It is coin week or treasure week, if you will. And today, I want to get to the heart of modern day treasure. Although I, I maybe shouldn't say modern day because I want to talk about the gold standard, which hasn't actually been used as of the 1930s. But the gold standard is this idea that for every paper dollar that exists in a country, take America, for example, its value is connected to gold. So say America values the price of gold at $1,000 per ounce. That means that every dollar would be worth one one thousandth of an ounce of gold. The reason gold was used as a standard back then instead of our current system was because for all of the paper money in circulation, all of that money, it could be backed up by real gold kept in vaults by the Federal Reserve, I presume. Gold has value, paper does not, but it backed it up. So we now have the fiat standard in place, which means the value of money is just by government decree. So the government says, this is what it's worth. And then everyone's like, okay. And I'll admit this is not my area of expertise, but I do know that capitalism helps keep all of this in check because we can't just print more money and get out of debt, whether it's for international trade or just to give everyone in the country an economic boost. That'd be sweet. Eh, maybe. The thing is, if we printed more money and gave it to everyone, most people, they're gonna spend that money. And that has a whole cascading effect on supply and demand, which means inflation. Or simply put, prices will rise, and then that extra money that you have is going it's gonna go back to being the same worth relative to what you have to spend. For example, in 1940, the average cost of a house was under $4,000. So why didn't the average person have like six houses? Well, because at the time, the average income per year was under $1,000. Compare that to now, our incomes are much higher, but the price of housing is much higher. Back to gold. Gold as coinage goes back to 700 BC and, and gold is still traded nowadays in the forms of coins and bars and not just because it's shiny, but also as an investment. Because when economic or political events happen that decrease the value of our paper money, the price of gold goes up. So some people like to buy gold as part of a well diversified portfolio to protect against inflation. That's it for today. Tomorrow, let's travel down towards the Caribbean where all the famous pirates go. But not that far because I'm not a famous pirate yet. And because the coin I happen to have for tomorrow's episode is from a little north of the Caribbean in the Bahamas. Element a day in May.